Hey everybody, today's dinner is easy taco pie. I have another taco pie, uh, I think it's called beefy taco bake that I usually make. And um, I was going to print it off the computer and then Max printed this one off for me instead. From cooks.com called easy taco pie. And I happen to have a package of crescent rolls in the fridge. So we're going to give it a try and see how it is. So here we go. First take a 9 inch pie plate and I'm going to spray it with cooking spray. And then you're going to open a package of crescent rolls. I hate doing this. You never know when it's going to pop. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. This is These are actually multi-grain, Pillsbury multi-grain crescent rolls. First time I buy them, so let's see how they are. They kind of uh, got a little bit of a brown flex in them, like this whole wheat flour. And then you're going to put the crescent rolls in the bottom of the pie pan. And you're going to overlap the pieces. And then you're going to, the rest of pieces choose half a bag of tortilla chips that have been crushed. Now it doesn't say what kind of size of bag, but I'm thinking it's a big bag. So this is a little bit less than half a bag, but it's going to do, it's going to have to do. So you put about half of the crushed tortilla chips in the bottom, like so, and then you save the rest for topping afterwards. Then you're going to brown one pound of ground beef. Skillet. Okay, once your hamburger is browned and drained, you add an envelope of taco seasoning. And then the recipe asks for half an envelope of water. And it says to use a taco envelope, so that's what I'm doing. I put about half full of water, pouring it in. And then you're just going to simmer this for about five minutes. Then you're going to put the meat mixture on top of the taco chips and the crescent rolls. Like so. That's the top with eight ounces of sour cream, which is a cup. Part of my video? Yes, it is, Leah. <laughs> yeah, Mom? <laughs> yeah. You, know you know where you put those, those hearts with crayon hearts, things? Yeah, they're in the uh, box, don't the crayon box? Why? I was wondering if I could re basically just re melt them so I could put a wick in there and be turned into a candle. Yeah. It's not going to be. Yeah, you could. You just have to put maybe two or th three in one, so yeah. that it, so they'd be deep enough. But yeah, you're you could. And that's what I was feeling like doing. How long is it supposed to melt it in the oven anyway? Well, about ten minutes or so. But uh, how, how? But I mean, at like a low temperature, like you don't want to so put it too high temperature. And I'm baking right now, so it's not a good time to do it right away. Okay. What are you baking? The taco pie mixing. Oh. Okay. Okay, then you top it with eight ounces of shredded cheese. And if I would have had any of the Tex Mex uh, nacho cheese, I probably would have used that instead. I think that would have been better. But I am using just plain cheddar like the recipe is asking for. And I don't know how much really eight ounces of shredded cheese is, so I, I'm going to guess this is about a cup or so, a cup and a half of shredded cheese. And then you put the remaining tortilla chip crumbs on the top. And then you bake this 
350 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes. That was about 25 minutes. The crust is nice and brown. Now we're going to cut into it and see how hard it is to get out of the pan. I've let it sit for about 5 minutes. First slice is always the hardest one. Seems to be okay. This was really good. I served it with some tomato and lettuce and some salsa and some sour cream on the top and it was really good um everyone loved it in the household the only thing i would do differently would be the next time i would bake the pillsbury crust the crescent roll crust i'd bake it by itself in the oven for about 10 minutes before putting in the rest of the ingredients because i found the crust on the bottom to be just a little bit soggy so that's what i will do the next time